Hey there guys, it's free at UK Games Expo and I've headed over to Alley Cat Games to see what's going on on the booth. I can see quite a lot of board games and I'm certainly tempted. <laughs> doing how's everything going on the alley cat games booth it's going very well yeah um it's uh it's been a really exciting expo despite everything that's been going on around the world yes. um and yeah we, we always seem to be full which is fantastic absolutely so what have we got going on today um so we got eternal palace yeah. uh, which is one of our recent kickstarters um basically you're trying to paint a painting piece to basically depict um a palace that you're trying to rebuild for the emperor yeah it's a dice placement game um it's really beautiful and uh, lots of people are saying it's a Kingsburg killer, which apparently is one of the best dice placement games out there. So we're really yeah, happy about that. Absolutely. So yeah, um, that's that's Eternal Palace. Yeah. So we're doing demos here today throughout. We are, yes, we are. Yes. That's great. Lots of demos. Lots um, of demos. This is Paper Dungeons here. Yeah. Um, this was released uh, yesterday. New one. Uh, we, yeah, new one. So we had we had 72 copies air freighted in from China as the ship was delayed because wow. of everything that's going on. Panic. And it, and it sold out. So amazing. Yeah, we're really excited. It's a medium weight uh, roll and write. Um, you've got some nice chunky dice. Yep. Um, you're trying to go around a dungeon. You've all got adventurers, a thief, a uh, priest, and so forth. And you're trying to defeat monsters, boss monsters, and so forth. So how many players is this one for? Um, to double check it's oh. one to eight wow there's yeah. quite a lot of players you can get involved there yeah most roll and rights you can uh, fit in quite a few so yeah. Yeah. amazing what else have we got going on um, we have a Dice Theme Park, yeah. which is our... Oh, I know Dice Theme Park. Oh, excellent. I know Dice Hospital. Yes. I'm quite... <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That's great. Um, so, yeah, Dice Theme Park is the spiritual successor to Dice Hospital. It's a little bit more complicated, so... But if you know how to play Dice Hospital, you'll you'll get to grips with this very quickly. Yeah. Um, it does play differently to, to it uh, because there's no worker placement. Instead, you're, you're using a, a cascade mechanic of basically you activate the tile and then the dice moves from one tile to an adjacent one. Okay. And that's how you score your points. So you're trying to maximize your points that way as well. And how many players is this, this one? This one is one to four. Brilliant. How does yeah. the solo play out in this version? Um, so it's quite clever. Um, David Digby was the solo designer, like he is for most of our games. Um, essentially, there's a there's kind of like a set of objectives, mm -hmm. and you're trying to achieve them by a certain round. And if you, if you do achieve it, you lower your target score that you're trying to achieve by the end of the game and if you miss it it increases your target score so, I really like, I, I personally love solo board games so oh, I'm really excited about that yeah, yeah it's, it's very it's very um, different to other solo games in the yes. sense that the target score will fluctuate based on how you're targeting the objectives I'm, so I've been as I said I'm a fan of Dice Hospital so this one's certainly been on my radar excellent what else have we got going on at the booth today so we have a very early version of um, a quite a heavy game uh, one of our one of our first uh, heavy games. Yep. Um, it's by two designers, Fabio Lopiano, uh, who recently uh, did Merv by yep. Osprey, and Nestor uh, Mangone, who did Newton. So both of those designers are very heavyweight Absolutely. games. Uh, essentially, what you're trying to do is you're trying to almost rebuild um, Germany's motorway system after the war. Cool. And essentially, you're trying to pick up and deliver goods to export to certain uh, nations. Wow. Um, so, yeah, it is a heavyweight game. Yeah. It's not our typical Alley Cat game yes, style. Yes, it's a very different one for yeah. you guys. But as you can see from the, the prototype art, it's it's still very early, yes. but it's also very complicated. So It's really yeah. good. I, I'm glad it's here because now <laughs> I can keep my eye on it. Exactly. <laughs> um, we also have Tennis Trail. Uh, which is a Martin Wallace game. Yeah. Um, it's been remastered for basically the modern era. Um, so now um, the game has been changed so that it has a, a tile and card system when before it was predominantly a dice rolling system to to populate yeah. the resources. It's based in Cornwall. Um, I love Cornwall. I love going there on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> exactly, Cornwall, yeah. yeah. Um, but if you're a Martin Wallace fan um, and you like, you know, economic games or auction games, yeah. that one's for you. And how many players is this one for? This one is for one to five players. Oh. So it's got a, it's got an innovative uh, system because obviously auctions, you need real people, right? Yes. Um, for one to two players, it's, it's got a really innovative system for one and then for two. That's brilliant. So you get a different game experience as well. The components are stunning. Yeah, they're yeah, beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. They are yeah. gorgeous. It's very, very colourful. And the same artist who did the board yes. um, did the next game. <gasps> and where um, are we heading to now? We're heading to Starfighters, which is our next uh, Kickstarter game. Yes. Um, the uh, the front cover's done. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 
the front cover's done. Uh, and essentially, it's a little oh, nod to one of my favourite games, Star Fox. Yes, I was going to say, yeah. it's very Star Fox. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and essentially, it's X-Wing meets Escape. Nice. Um, you're, you're basically trying to frantically roll your dice. Yep. You're trying to allocate them to various systems. Wow. And then you're trying to move around your ship to basically destroy each other. <laughs> I love the idea of that. How long does yeah. this usually take to play? About 30 minutes. That's really yeah. good as well. Yeah. So would you paint the miniatures as well? I'm not very good at that, okay. but I would rec I would probably recommend it. Um, but they are coloured so that um, each player has their own special ship. Oh, fantastic! There is so much so, different stuff going on today. Yeah, we do. Cat. We do try and cater for lots of different types yes. of games. Yes. I am. I am beyond depressed, and I think you've kind of pulled my arm a bit more <laughs> to go just past Dice Theme Park. So, if you are here at UK Games Expo this weekend, there is a plethora of games for you to check out at Alley Cat. And as you said, any type of gamer can access the board games here. So please make sure you visit. Thanks a lot, guys.